going to be another lace 101 type of video really giving you guys um, an idea of which lace to shoot for when you are trying to buy your wig and today i'm going to let you guys know that swiss lace is where it's at okay it melts into your skin um, it matches our skin you know us melanated girls very well obviously if you are more of a darker complexion you will still have to kind of tint it a little bit so here i have three different samples for you guys um i have a swiss lace i have a medium brown lace and then i have a transparent lace now swiss lace ob is so obvious it's soft thin um the grids are a tad bit smaller than the regular type of brown lace as you can see there's a huge difference and it's a bit more stretchier which could be a pro and a con and i'll get to that later on it's also very delicate so when you're plucking it guys take your time but i know you guys have seen me do this several times i wanted to do the whole lace test on the arm and show you guys which one looks the best so obviously um the regular lace and the swiss lace there's not much huge of a difference once you spray it down but the swiss lace gives a more clear lace type of illusion which obviously we're all gonna want to shoot for and it's very light on the skin you can't really feel it once you've glued or sprayed it down i personally try to stay away from transparent lace it's just way too whitish and it takes way too much work for it to blend into your skin especially when it comes to trying to match my skin color so i feel like if you're definitely in a darker skin tone you will struggle as well trying to get this transparent lace to match it's not as stretchy either so eh, not my fave as you guys know, I always stress to you guys to keep your hair and your scalp hydrated and, and oiled underneath your wigs. Um, I am experiencing a lot of breakage around the back of my neck area, and I'm pretty sure it's due to the headbands and the friction of the wig caps or, you know, the ball caps and, all, and so forth. So definitely use a really good oil that you guys really believe in, do your deep conditions, and keep your hair underneath healthy as well. So I'm going to just use this and put this all over my head. Now, I try not to put too much oil at the front front of my hairline just because that's where the glue and or hairspray will be and you don't want it to not be able to stick because you put too much oil. So put it more towards like about two inches from the hairline and all the way back. So here we have the wig. I did dye it jet black because I've been trying to you know sometimes jet black just makes the hair stand out so much more so i dyed it for that reason you don't have to but girl this wig was it it was giving me life i loved it the length and everything All right, so we talked about the lace and how amazing it is. Okay, we already know all of that. But I want to get into the fake scalp. So as you see, this wig has the fake scalp underneath. I love it because I feel like it protects your hair. So it's been out for quite a while. It's reusable. You can wash it with no issues. It doesn't get loose with a lot of manipulation, like if you blow dry it a lot or use a hot comb. So for me, I really feel like it protects the lace and it protects your scalp as well. And you also don't have to use a ball cap mask. Method. I feel like a lot of times, especially with summertime coming up, I do not want to wear a ball cap and a wig. So it's kind of nice to have the whole fake scalp thing underneath to kind of prevent you from having to do all those extra things. Things that just make your wig uncomfortable. It's also very breathable, so you don't have to worry about <laughs> it feeling like you're wearing two hats. All right, so I want to talk about this spray as well. I was actually going to try to, I was actually using this for the first time in this video. Just trying to try out different hairsprays besides gotta be glue holding spray. And to be honest, so not impressed with this hairspray okay underwhelmed <laughs> is exactly what i was i felt like it did not hold the plate the lace in place i felt like it did not make the lace look seamless i actually feel like i had to do more work to make this actually blend in with my skin which kind of drove me crazy because this install should have took me no more than two hours at most sorry i'm singing tiktok songs but um i just feel like it took me longer and i wish that i would have just used gotta be glued from the beginning and called it a day so my overall review on this hairspray i would say is do not use this for sticking your lace or your wig down and it does turn white if you put too much or just turns white period to be honest so and it doesn't lift as long i had to put a lot of heat on this so i would stay away from this one as far as using it for lace, I would probably use it for my hair. Like as far as curls and stuff, like trying to keep the style in place. I think it does really well for that. But this is definitely not an alternative, definitely not an alternative when it comes to got to be glued. Okay. Um, so the lace had me highly impressed. It looked really good. Um, 
I did go ahead and trim it up just because I felt like I wanted a certain look. I knew what look I was going for. But the hair just felt really nice and soft and sleek. I like that. <laughs> the bob to me was actually not I, I love the length and i think sometimes i underestimate this length i'm like i don't want a long bob but i actually really like this hairstyle you could also wear this wig straight or you could wear it curly like how i had it in this video you don't have to you know you know you know i also didn't want to go too crazy with the baby hairs which is why i just like laid them down and you know kind of like a natural type of look so And then I went ahead and used my T3 curling iron to just curl, I mean, yeah, yes, yes, to just curl the wig. Um, I wanted a very voluminous type of look without having to use the blow dryer. So I would say this wig definitely did keep a curl. It definitely made the wig, the hair look nice and full. And honestly, dye your wigs jet black, ladies. It makes all the difference. Like I, I'm telling you, I usually hate this length and I actually ended up loving it. I think, I think it was the jet blackness and just how sleek it looked. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use my wide tooth comb and you always want to comb back. Okay, I love to show you guys how I look with makeup and without makeup. I feel like it tells you how the wig is going to really look when you put it on your head <laughs> without having to spruce it up. I feel like if you can make a wig look really beautiful and nice without having to put on all the makeup and everything, it means it's a great wig. So here I am with the whole natural face, natural tings. And then a little later, I'm going to show you me with makeup. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I absolutely love this wig. I had a great time wearing it and it's just so light and airy on the head here's a close-up of the lace magnificent they did a great job with this wig